Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. In today's episode, we're going to have a look at the PL100 exam. So this is the Microsoft Power Platform App Maker. In this video, I'm just going to go through a few things um, that I did to prepare and also a couple of slides on things that can help. This is no, by no means a comprehensive um, resource to pass the exam, but it's just a starter really. Um, I find it quite useful when I'm revising to go look at videos that will help me, um, something I can just watch and just, you know, start thinking about things. So this will help. So to start with, the Microsoft Learn material for PL100 is really good. Always urge you to check that out. Um, and this is where you can also book the certification as well. The measure up resource is given there. I'm not being paid to put this out there. I just found it really useful to go through the measure up questions. There are loads of different websites that will um, kind of sell you practice exams and things, but some of those I don't think are very reputable. I'm sure there are other good ones out there as well. Um, but yeah, measure up for sure is one that I've used to prepare. So a couple of slides now on things that will help you pass the exam. So one is do look into your relationships in, in Dataverse. You've got the one-to-many relationship and the end-to-end -end relationship. But in particular, think about where you can create these relationships. So you can do this in the Power App portal, so in the kind of main navigation. You can also do this through a table. So think about those different ways that you can build relationships and how you build them. So in the description boxes below and in the Link provided above, you can see more, um, but best way to learn is by practicing. So do have a look at that. Make sure you know about the different types of model driven app forms. So there are four different ones here. So the main app form is used in model driven apps. They're the main interface for interacting with table data. You've got the quick create, which can be used in uh, model driven apps, Dynamics 365, as it says. But for updated tables, these forms provide a basic form optimized for creating new rows. So it's a quick way. Quick view, quite similar, but it's um, used for additional data for a row. And a card is used to present information in a compact format that is suitable for mobile devices. So make sure you know about those different types. Understand the different types of kind of managers we have, but this particular slide is a compliance manager. Uh, so this is basically used to, to look at how your business or environment is um, performing in terms of compliance. You have a detailed step-by-step -step guidance on suggested improvements. You get a risk compliance score and other workflow capabilities as well. So in the same vein, learn about the content manager as well. That's another one. So I'm just giving you buzzwords here to do more research on. So yep. Yeah have a look at the different types of capabilities available. The next slide here is on assistive technology, so accessibility. So think about for Canvas apps in particular, this slide is, if you want to hide content for more users, you set the visible property of a particular component to false, and that will mean that it's hidden from screen readers and from sighted users. However, if you want to hide something from a sighted user and show it to a screen reader, then set the size of the property to zero or set the width and the height to one. Or set the X and Y so it's outside of the screen. So if it's outside of the screen, a sighted user won't see it, but a screen reader will be able to see it if we make sure the accessibility label is used. You can set the color and related properties transparent. That's another way. Or position a rectangle above the content and set fill to the same color. If you want to hide the content um, from a screen reader user and actually just show it to the sighted user, you can use the accessible label because the accessible label being nothing will mean that the screen reader can't pick it up. One thing that's not on this screen is the, the tab order as well, which is um, useful for keyboard navigation. So have a think about that one as well. Next slide here is all about importing and exporting components. Um, so this is the kind of pre-built uh, functionality that we want to use in other applications. So think about the different steps and practice them. It's so important to practice the, these different things and not just read the um, 
the kind of theory behind it. So think about the different ways that you could import and export components. And that's it. Um, so yeah, hope it helps. Let me know what you think and good luck for the exam. Thank you.